The first step is to capture your requirements in NSLATE. You might derive your requirements from any of the following. Customer need statements, lessons learned, policies and procedures, laws, standards, or other such sources. To see this in action, let's start with importing the example requirements document to derive new requirements. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open Manage Projects. Then we'll create a new NSLATE project and we'll name it Lesson Autonomous Vehicle. Click Create and Go. Next, we'll open the Menu drop-down and we'll click on Import Analyzer under Tools. Import Analyzer analyzes the document's overall structure and will import all the statements and requirements right into your project. A statement entity specifies text, while the requirement entity identifies what a system must do to have value and a utility to the end user. We're going to choose the CSV tab. Now we'll go ahead and we'll choose requirements for our default class and configure settings. We'll click next. Now all we have to do is drag and drop our requirements document. Click next. Preview it. And now we'll save it. You've now successfully imported a requirements document. You will notice that every requirement has a unique number. NSLATE requires all requirements to have a unique number. Example 1.1.1 or spec.1.1 .1 .1 within requirements view.